Uh, thank you the members of the press. Asante ni sana. Kwa majina naitua Brenda Kangai and this is Brenda Kangai Show. Leo hii ni kona wana media wa online wote katika show yangu. We want to discuss about the doctor strike. Na uh, nikiendelea sana niseme ya kwamba mimi Brenda Kangai. I'll be vying for the women rep seat of Nairobi County 2027. I'll be at the ballot paper. Uh, kwa sababu ni demand ambayo vijana wa manipatia na wamama wa Nairobi. Ni watete haki zao na nyeze kuprotect rights na interest zao pale katika bunge. So, Dr. Strike kwa hapa. So, what I want to say is that um, the Ministry of Health is under CS uh, Susan Nakumincha. She's a woman. I support women in leadership. I support when women are given uh, political chances and even elective posts and uh, appointments to high profile jobs. But ikifika ni mali pa kuchezea hafia ya watu hapo watuko. As much as Kenya Kwanza government has done serious crime against its citizen, e crime ya kunyima madaktari ya kizao wafanye strike, it is like, tasema aji, ni kama crime ya kuwa wanainchi. When you joke with health, you are joking with life of the citizens of the Republic of Kenya. Susan Yakumincha, wewe ni CS. Duty yako pale Ministry of Health ni kulinda hafia za wa Kenya wote, kuenshua madawa zinafika hospitalini vilivyo, kuenshua madaktari wanafanya kazi, kuenshua madaktari wanalipo mishara zao, marupurupu zao na haki zao zinatetewa. Nikirudi nyuma, during COVID, which was a pandemic, tulikuwa na CS Mutai Kagwe. It was a very, very serious and a critical time ya health katika dunia mzima. But Mutai Kagwe alingangana na ayo. Atu kuona ta siku moja, madaktari wa mefeli kufanya kazi. But, hii time yako, tumiona ukileta mza na madaktari wa taifa la Kenya. What I want to tell you, I support you as a woman. But kama ni mambo ya kuchezea maisha wa Kenya, will not support you. And this goes to the President of Republic of Kenya, Mr. William Samoy Ruto. Kwa sababu wewe ndiyo kuna jukumula kwa point CS, ambu unafilu wanafanya nao kazi. If you appointed somebody because she is beautiful, and because she comes to state house, that is a very wrong move. You should appoint a person who is capable to do his duties and protect the interest, the health of the people of Republic of Kenya. Susan Nyakumincha has failed. If she is not able to deal with health issues, afutwe ama patwe kazi ingine. Kuna kazi mingi sana president aneza mundia. Aneza mundia pia kazi ya maslequin. Akue chia radio of slequins of the Republic of Kenya. Achane na health na ekewe kwa mshahara yake. But kama kazi ya, msha, kama kazi ya health na mshinda, Achane na ayo. So I am telling the president, Toa Susan na kumincha, Eka mtu mwingine mwenye unona atafanya kazi. Na mimi ni mempropozie yokiti kwa sababu, she, dis, she, she decided to become a slay queen in the CS position. She can be appointed the cheerleader of Slay Queen Association of Africa and Kenya. Na fungulu ofisi yake. And the slay queens all over the country, they will go and ask uh, Mr. CS of Slay Queen. What can you advise me today? Itakuwa mzuri kwa sababu itakuwa kazi freestyle. Ya kazi yake itakuwa msubui kurauka kupika lipstick. Na nini? Na usiseme mimi napika lipstick. Na ngara. Mimi, mimi, mimi esina kazi yote ya mwanainchi saizi. Saizi kazi yangu ni ya kutetea wanainchi. And as much as PSC tunangara, tunatetea wanainchi. We are doing even more work than our watu masiesu wao. So kitu nasema ni kama siyesa hezi fanya kazi, hafutwe, apatue mtu mwingine mwenyeneza fanya kazi. It shows me that William Samoy Ruto alichagua ministries kulingana wewe ni rafiki yangu tunajuana na wewe ni mtu wangu wa karibu. Akuchagua ministries CS through uh, akuangalia capability, akuangalia qualification ya mtu, aliangalia huyu mtu ni mrembo anapewa kazi. Huyu mtu ni besti yangu anapewa kazi. Huyu mtu amefanya na mimi kazi miaka mingi chukua kazi. Huyu mtu ni wakotu sugoi wewe fanya kazi. Wewe ulikuwa classmate yangu chukua kazi. That is very wrong. When you appointing ministries, ministry ndo zinashikilia taifa, ndo zinashikilia inchi. 
chagua ule mtu anaweza nirudi niseme ya kwamba wanawake tumepatiwa nafasi hapo kitambo tuko tunalia tunasema wanawake hawapatiwi position wanawake wapatiwi nafasi but tukipewa sisi wanawake hizo nafasi how we able to defend them how we able to show that we are capable of doing these things kwa sababu ni vibaya mwanamke apatiwe nafasi kwa sababu ni mwanamke juu ya agenda irudi kuwa huyo mwanamke hataweza kufanya hiyo kazi ni heri basi ipatiwe mwanaume mwenye atafanya i'm not saying it is bad tuliona nani uh, CJ Mother Kome tulipoenda kupatia position za election alisema nini alisema oh sijui evidence zenu ziko nini nini alifanya through corruption we akatupatia serikali mbovu hivi juzi ni anaanza kulia oh sijui majudges wapewe heshima sijui nini nini na nini it shows us wale wanawake wanapatiwa hizo position hawafanyi vizuri na watazuia watu wengine kama sisi ambao tuko na aspiration ya kukuwa leaders kesho tunyimo hizo nafasi wetu kufikiria we are incompetent like them so what i want to tell them if you are appointed and you are woman deliver don't just do work because you are a woman and people will feel sympathy oh this is my fellow woman uh, sita mgonga mimi nitakutandika nitakwambia you have done wrong sia na kumincha unacheza na maisha ya watu kuna mama kuna complication labda ameenda hospitali Kenyatta hata hudumiwa na daktari mkubwa kwa sababu wako nini aenda kuruzi maisha yake will you feed the children when watatu na huo mama utafeed wale watoto watatu na mzee amekufa kwa sababu hakuna madaktari wa kumtibu let be serious Ikifika ni mambo ya masomo, mambo ya health, mambo ya agriculture. Wacha tufanye kazi kulingana na vile kazi inapaswa ifanywe. Hapo mambo ya urafiki, mambo ya usle queen, mambo ya nini unaweka kando unafanyia wananchi wa taifa la Kenya kazi. Kwa sababu remember you are paid on our salaries. Mnatuibia bado tax zetu. Nyinyi nyinyi mnatumia marubu zetu. Mbona msitufanyie kazi vile inapaswa? We saw the other woman, the women rep of Nairobi County, alichaguliwa na karuka wananchi ya Tharani akaruka na akasema mimi na support hizo tax zenye mnaekewa mingi mingi alikuwa anafanya hivyo kitu kuna mama kwa mkuru kwa njenga analala njaa huyu mama japata chakula lakini ana impose hizo tax ziongezewe kwa, kwa sababu gani ni mwanamke ambaye alipoa kazi kwa sababu ya wanawake hakupatiwa kazi kwa sababu hako na qualification na kona uwezo na kona passion ya kutetea watu wake kwanza tuelewe kitu ya siasa ni passion inakuja na passion wewe kama mwanasiasa uko na passion ya kudefend wananchi wako? Yes. Uko na capability ya kudefend wananchi wako? Yes. Uko na qualification na hekima mzuri ya kudefend watu? Yes. Na get an elective post. Lakini historia wananchi kuwa mnaenda kuelect watu kwa sababu ati wanajuana na mtu fulani na mtu fulani it is wrong. Na story ya president kwa point watu kwa sababu wanajuana na wao ni wrong kwa sababu mfanyika nini? Mwananchi wa kawaida atapata haki yake. Mwananchi atapata haki yake. Susan Nyakumincha style up if you are not able resign give another person the chance kwa sababu health ya wananchi ni very important sahi nikikuwa mgonjwa vile niko na kifua ingekuwa si kuenda hospitali nikapewa dawa a private hospital labda ningekuwa nimewezo zaidi because my health comes first my security comes second chakule yangu bado inafuatilia hapo so serikali wacha wache kuacha kuleta mzaa kwa vitu zingine ukiangalia saa hizi tuna, tuna tuko na health issue ya madaktari si ndio tuko na insecurity issue huko Baringo ndio hiyo hiyo tuko na education issue hapa watoto wajai rudi shule walikosa pesa za kurudi hell by jai disbandwa vile inapaswa wacha government kuwe serious on critical issues ambazo zina affect wananchi tuache kuleta mzaa na zile vitu ambazo zinadhuru wa Kenya Let's be serious for once. William Samoy Ruto, you had the manifesto that you sold to the people of Republic of Kenya. Why can't you defend it? Why can't you do your work right way? Mbona uwezi defend haki za wa Kenya? Wewe ulisimama pale kwa jukwaa ukasema, "Hi, the President of Republic of Kenya, William Sam I will defend the constitution. What are you doing today?" You are seated in state house and watching all dramas being performed by your friends. You can't appoint somebody as yes because he's your friend or comes from your area ama mnajuana you have to elect that person who will help you even deliver you know manifest because 2027 you are going out na msifikilie serikali ya Kenya kwanza hiyo madharau mnatuonyesha at 2027 mtakuja mtupea kaya za bunwasi my friend 2027 Kenya kwanza government is out we are going to elect new leaders who will take this country forward na mimi wana media niwaambie na niwaambie kwamba kama sisi kama youth wa Kenya ni ku kama sisi kama youth wa Kenya tuta tuta tutaendelea kunyanyaswa hivyo tuta tutapinga serikali ya Kenya kwanza 
kwa sababu haitu tetei haki zetu haitu pigani that is what i can say let us be serious for once and do things that are capable to protect the right of interest hebu nipatie wana media waulize maswali so before we continue uh, do, do, do you believe that uh, when president samia arapruto gave those people close to him uh, the position of the cs especially cs namuicha Mhm. Uh -huh. President William Ali appoint marafiki zake hata uendelee sana. Okay. Just even stop asking that question because William Ruto appointed his friends. Okay. Not people who are capable of okay. dealing with Kenyan issues. Okay. So do you think the doctor strike it uh -huh. is as a result of uh, William Samuel Arap Ruto and CS Namwicha's incompetency uh, to talk to uh, the people that are supposed to have a dialogue with the doctors because we are not seeing any seriousness. What Nakumincha is doing is issuing threats to doctors. Mm. You can't issue threats to yes. people who are protecting our health, okay. honestly. Yes. You can't issue a doctor a, a threat. Number two, before you become a doctor, kuna specific qualification na paso kwenazo. In fact, if they imagine to suck all the doctors in this country, yes. can they get another doctor tomorrow who are qualified, who are trained, who have the experience? to guard the health of this country no so, so ni kiburi shuke wakae chini na madaktari waongee wajue shida iko wapi madaktari kesho warudi kazi yes. wananchi wa Kenya waendelee kupata services zao kama kawaida okay. na kama haiwezekani futa huyo mtu na kumincha heka mtu mwingine heka mtu mwingine afanye hiyo kazi yes. ambaye mwenye ataweza kukaa chini hana kiburi aongee na madaktari waende kusikizana but wewe zienda kuleta maringo na madharau mingi na makeup mingi kwa um, issues of health. Bwana hii ni hii si modeling. It's not a council of modeling. It is mambo ya health. We are talking of serious issues. Hapo tunaongea mambo ya afya ya mtu. Tunaongea cancer patients ambao wako hospitali wanahitaji kuongezewa damu daily. Tunaongea about liver patients na mm, watu wako na pancreatic na wengine magonjwa zingine zingi mbaya mbaya. Tuko na tunaongelea watu wako na high blood pressure ina controlliwa na machines. Hospitali ina pressure. Atuongelele history ya usleku. If you wanted to become a usleku, you quit politics and you become a, a, nini, a political analyst like me. Sijui kama una ni understand? Kama unataka kuishi hii life tunaishi, yes. wewe toka kazi wa, wa, uanze kuzunguka na asisi. Yeah. Uanze kuingia ground usikie vile mwanainchi anasema. Because I'm always on the ground. Lakini story ya usleku wa ofisi, na kwanda umepiga makeup mingi na kimbere mbere mingi mbele ya madaktari na kuonyesha kiburi we won't allow you're being paid na kumincha all of her hea kienda pale kwa madaktari she is a slay queen she is like ok toka in my friend mnaletea kiburi madaktari mtu wako na experience ya 7 years ya wako na experience ya meka chini ya kasoma kajua kutibu mtu Una, anataka ongezoe mshahara anataka ground yake ya environment yake ya kazi ikue mzuri alafu unaenda kumletea madharau na unalipo na taxi yake Shameful to that woman. Kama kazi ina kushindo, you resign. Iyo ni mekwambia maa kazi za ministry, si kazi za viburi. Okay. And, you will not, and let, let it not happen in this country again. That a woman is given position because she is a woman. Is she capable of doing that work? Okay. Ukona, ukona wezo wakudil na iyo kazi. Because I feel there are so many people who are surrounding Ruto who can do better than, perform better than Nakumincha and give Ruto credits. In fact, I, am, um, I have always opposed William Ruto. But if Ruto, you give me ministers who are going to perform their duties right, Nikona right ya kusema mi uyu minister anafanya kazi yake. Uyu mtu anafanya kazi yake. Who do you prefer? To give that to Kuna watu wengi mimi, I don't know the people who are qualified in the health field. Mm -hmm. And I feel, ule mtu ambayo anapaso kuwa na smamia health issues, mm -hmm. should even be a person when ya mesomia mambo ya udaktari. Anajua kudil nayo. Auta anda kutuwa mtu kwa degree ya agriculture. Anajua kulima huko. Jua kudil na mende. Na kunguni. Alafu umulete hapa adil na ishu za health. Wana inchi anajua nini. Mtu adil na kuspre kunguni huku kayole. Unumbatia health. Anajua nini. Okay. You should give that ministry. Ule mtu wako na ekma na masomo. Ambayo na qualify kujua. Kwa sababu uangalia mtu kama mutai kagwe. Yes. Ni mtu alikuwa na knowledge what health needs. Mm -hmm. Na alikuwa na consult watu wako na expert, expert kwa udaktari. Every time time ya COVID nikuwa naona the Amref person, Dr. Githai Kithinji, akikuja kuelezea wakiambatana na kagwe, what is happening, what we do, should do to protect ourselves from getting COVID, alizingatia sana. Kwa sababu alikuwa minister ambaye, alikuwa najua, 
as much as I know more about health, I have to consult health expert and know what is happening here on the ground kwa mambo na udaktari. Lakini uwezi enda kuleta kiburi kwa fielda yenye ujui. So na kuminja style up, resign, get out of work, let somebody else do that work. You are my fellow woman, but if you are, you are not capable of doing your work, just resign. And I have proposed for you a chairmanship of the Association of this country. <laughs> Together with the current women rep of Nairobi. Okay. Na muindi. <laughs> Wewe na muindi muenda mkasile. Muache watu ambao wanafanya kazi wafanya buwana. Cheni mchezo buwana. Thank you so much for your time.